This session is a particularly poignant moment for me as I have just six hours left of being a citizen of the European Union. And that is not because I've committed some heinous crime and I'm being deported to India, which is quite a nice thought, actually, um, but because my fellow British citizens and their wisdom have seen fit to vote us out of the EU. So it is with a metaphorical tear, a metaphorical farewell tear in my eye, that I introduce this next session, which is the European Union Youth Climate Conclave. Now, this was launched last October under the framework of the strategic partnership for the implementation of the Paris Agreement between the EU and the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change in partnership with Terry, with GIZ and with the Council for Energy, Environment and Water. And it built on a series of photography and blogging competitions for youth across India and culminated in a climate change conclave which drew up a youth declaration on climate action, which we'll hear more about in a minute. But first, we've got a really proud moment for one group of young people. And I'd like to call upon Taru from Terrier's Environment, Education and Awareness area to announce the competition winners. Over to you, Taru. Thank you, Martin. Good evening, everyone. Under the photography contest in the junior age category, an All India First position is backed by Vansh Bajaj, Gyan Bharti School, Saket, New Delhi. Jonas C. Givi, Chinmaya Vidyalaya, Kochi, Kerala, back the third position. <laughs> Khanak Lashkari from Subodh Public School, Jaipur, won the second position, but unfortunately could not join the program today. We will be sending across her award. Ladies and gentlemen, the photographs that are coming on the screen are the pictures clicked by the students. Under the senior age category, Arpita Nayak from ITM Business School, Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra, secured the first position. Akshat Srivastav from Terry Sass, New Delhi, secured the second position. Vibhav Vikrant from ITM Business School, Maharashtra, secured the third position along with Harshita Sharma from Terry Saz. Harshita also could not join us today. I would also like to add that copies of the table calendar prepared from the select entries are available at the registration desk outside. Kindly collect a copy before you leave for the day. Now I will call upon Now I will call upon winners of the blogging contest to receive their medals and certificates under the junior age category Grace Moses AMM School Chennai Tamil Nadu secured the first rank Under the senior age category, Siddhant Kumar from Terry Sass, New Delhi, secured the first position. Sneha Shahi from the MS University, Vadodara, Gujarat, secured the third position. Winners who could not join us today are Garima Upreti from University of Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, Ria from DAV Centenary Public School, Tohana, Haryana, and Rayan Pathak from Sanskriti, the Gurukul, 
from Guwahati, Assam. Thank you very much. Now, I mentioned a, uh, a declaration, and I'd now like to call upon the following students to present the Youth Declaration on Climate Change. So could we have Chirag Agawal from Karnataka, Komal Tiwari from Odisha, Kushi Alwalia from Haryana, and Apashakti Kocha from Delhi, please. We have arisen, we have awakened, and we are not stopping till the goal is reached. Today, on the 31st Jan, 2020, we, the youth of planet Earth, are united in finding collective and viable solutions to address climate change whilst considering that the impacts of this issue is not limited to just our species. We commit ourselves to strengthen global discourse set forth by the Sustainable Development Agenda, and we call upon heads of states to acknowledge and act in accordance with priorities that will strengthen climate action for an equitable and sustainable growth of all fellow beings of planet Earth. And our working groups spread across priorities related to both adaptation and mitigation measures. We have concluded the following. Mitigation actions. Calls upon the countries of the world to hold the increase in the global average temperature to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels and pursuing efforts to limit the temperature increases to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, recognizing that this would significantly reduce the risk and impacts of climate change fulfill their pre-2020 commitments under the Kyoto Protocol, develop a technology framework with focus on technology innovation, development, and transfer including, but not including, but not limited to carbon cap capture and storage in order to support the implementation of the Paris Agreement. We request countries to take the following measures in line with the principles of equity and common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities to prioritize the transition from non-renewable energy sources to renewable energy sources in a phased manner, to encourage and promote civil society organizations' activity and startups to implement a ground-level network, to encourage sustainable and green transport system such as electrification and use of public transport and adopt the culture of ecotourism. Request the developed nation to stand by their commitments on finance, technology, and capacity building, and adopt a liberal intellectual property rights regime in order to facilitate adoption of green technology by developing countries. Developed countries to fulfill the goal of mobilizing USD 100 billion per year by 2020 and further scale up provision of financial support to developing countries. V pledge as the global youth to contribute by adopting a sustainable lifestyle to move towards a low carbon economy, stressing the need for the mobilization of youth awareness, education, capacity building, and outreach, promoting innovation, entrepreneurship, and R&D as a part of the solution to the problem of climate change. The adaptation actions are as follows. We urge countries of the world to help each other to Firstly, enhance resilience to climate change in vulnerable regions such as coastal regions and sectors such as agriculture. Establish disaster and adaptation banks for the allocation of finances dedicated to extreme weather events with accountability and transparency with focus on most vulnerable regions. Decentralize adaptation policies at regional level and create institution for institutions for long-term adaptation action plans. Finally, foster technological partnerships between nations and strengthen metrological institutions to keep a uniform track of climate events around the globe. In case of extreme weather events, countries should support each other by cooperation in setting up early warning systems to ensure preparedness and prevent damage to life due to clim climatic dis disasters. Secondly, providing rehabilitation and aid to people displaced due to climate change and at last, establishing an international disaster response team. We 
pledged to volunteer for rehabilitation and development initiatives and civil society organizations in areas adapting to climate change as well as places receiving people displaced by impacts of climate change. We pledge to gain and share comprehensive knowledge about causes, repercussions, and potential solutions in the face of adversity in order to build comprehensive mechanisms for disaster management. We call upon all parties to prioritize the allocation of disaster management. We, the collective voice of global youth, today on 31st January 2020, speak from the platform of World Sustainable Development Summit 2020 being organized at New Delhi, India as one for being well-being of all. We stand firm in our resolve towards addressing the climate change crisis and believe that global collective action problems like climate change are beyond the power of any single entity to tackle. We stress upon partnerships and networks to resonate in all parts of the world to create and facilitate lasting change. We will continue to work together and undertake sustainable actions that can benefit entire humanity. We will continue to work towards peace and prosperity of all life forms on our planet Earth. What, what we, we do to the, the nature determines what, what the nature does to us, and that determines what we do to ourselves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just a word. They wrote this themselves. They were all working last night, and they prepared this. They worked on it last night also, and they prepared this. So I just thought I'd let you know that they've done this uh, all on their own. And this is really a sign of hope. 